Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. In today's video, I'm going to be using the brand new February Card Kit of the Month from Spellbinders to create six quick and easy tent topper mini slimline cards. I hope you'll stick around to see how it's done and get a few tips along the way. Spellbinders just released their Spring Delight Card Kit of the Month, and let me tell you, it is packed full of delightful spring goodies. In front of me is most of what you get in the kit. There are four sticker sheets, some puffy sticker sentiments, some cardstock sticker images and sentiments, and a whole package of ephemera, which I just put a few out here so you could see it. But this thing is chock full. I bet there's over a hundred pieces in there. You also get some A2 card fronts, so you would need to provide your own card bases. And they give you a packet of single-sided pattern paper that goes with the theme. Also, to help you put your cards together, you get some foam dots and some tear tape. And if you want to add a little shine, besides the fun gold details that are in like the stickers and some of the paper, they also sent some pretty sequins. For my cards today, I'm going to be making some mini slimline tent topper cards and I will be using the September 2022 sheet load of cards for my cutting dimensions and the layout. Now, if you don't yet have this sheet load of cards, I will link the debut and the process video in the description box below so you can go check it out and download this for free. As always, it is free to subscribers. The original sheet load of cards called for six six by six pattern papers to yield 12 cards. Now I have pre-selected six pattern papers, but we're gonna make just a couple fewer than that. We're gonna make two cards out of each of the combinations that I chose. I won't go over a lot of the instructions of how to cut this and put it together in the video. I mainly want to focus on showing you the paper and then showing you how I'm going to decorate them. So again, that process video for September 2022 is going to be a great resource for you if you want help with that. Now the fun thing about these cards is like I said, they're tent toppers, but they're also mini slim lines. So the card itself is a little bit smaller than a mini slim line, but with our little scalloped and regular layered ovals, it's going to fit inside a mini slim line envelope. Just kind of a fun take on a mini slim line. As I add other products and tools during the process, I will be sure to let you know. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty. Here's a quick look at the papers in the kit. One thing I love is that they're sized down for card making. I chose three different sets of floral with a gingham then this pretty floral with pink and white butterfly paper. And finally, I just love this quirky lemon paper, the pink and the yellow on that. I am gonna quickly show you how I cut one pair of papers. If your pattern does have a specific direction, keep that in mind before you make the first cut. To cut down these two, I'm gonna cut each piece in half at three inches wide. And for now, I'm gonna set half of that or two of the halves to the side for a later project. Now from each of those three by six inch strips, I cut one piece that is four inches tall and one piece that is two inches tall. And then those get switched up for the final card. Now the rest of that I will do off screen. Again, I do have a process video linked in that description box below. Here's a look at the rest of the pieces I got ready off screen. I have my sets of ovals. One is a pink scallop and the other one is just a standard white oval. Now on the white ones, I did use my embossing folder. Since I won't be stamping on those, it just adds a little extra texture. I also made my pink mats for the smaller piece of pattern paper, and then I got my card bases ready, which these are three and a quarter by four and a quarter when folded. 
To put the cards together, I start by adhering my two ovals together. Now, if you are a channel member, you do have access to these free SVG cut files if you don't have dies that are similar that you can use. Once I have matted my small piece of pattern paper with the pink showing only at the top and bottom, I then add that final piece of pattern centered onto the front of the card. Then my pink matted piece goes across there left to right. Now you can definitely move this up or down if you want to. I just tried to stick with the sketch. For this next step, I'm going to bring in the envelopes that I use for my mini slim lines. I do get asked this a lot and I just use the cheap ones that you can buy at most stores that sell just basic envelopes. These are number six and three quarters and I get mine at the Dollar Tree. Now the reason I brought one of these in is because when you place that oval, you need to make sure that it's not going to be too large for your envelope. So this gives you an idea of the boundaries. After I kind of figure out how high up the oval should go, I add adhesive to just the bottom section and get that placed onto the card base. Here's a look at that put together, and you'll see here that if you do make a nice crisp fold on the card base, it will stand up. I put the remaining five cards together, and for these I used more of an assembly line process where I did the cards in sections and then put all the pieces together at the end. Now while I work on that, I thought it would be a great time to stop by with the QOTV or question of the video. These are just fun little questions I like to ask from time to time so we can get to know each other a little bit better. Today's question has to do with the process I'm showing you on screen. I would like to know, when you mass produce cards, do you put one card together at a time, or do you do more of an assembly line process like I'm showing you here on the final five cards? I would love to know your answer. You can leave that in that comment section below and make sure to include the hashtag, hashtag QOTV, so I know that you've answered and would like me to see it. For myself, when I put together a sheet load and I'm doing the process for you guys, I will usually kind of do what I do here. I will put a couple together, you know, all at once, just a single card at a time. But then when I go off screen to finish the rest, I do usually do an assembly line process. I just think that usually makes it go quicker. But I think for the process video, it's quicker if I just show you one card at a time. Can't wait to see your answers. My next step was to bring in the variety of stickers and decide what I wanted to go on each of the ovals. I tried to pick an image and a sentiment for each one. Now because that did take a while, I did do it off screen and here's a look at what I chose for each. When I assembled the focal points, some of the images again came pre-sticky, so I could just place those right down onto the ovals. And others like this sentiment, which were a sticker, but I wanted it to be popped up a little bit, I brought in my thin foam tape and added some to the back. Now since the ends were still sticky and I didn't want those to accidentally get pressed down and stick to the card front, I used my embossing buddy to just tap it on the back and take off that adhesive. Once that was done, I could remove the release tape and get that added to the card front. I just like the added dimensions this gave. I finished assembling the focal points off camera and then I decided I wanted a little sparkle so I brought in the sequins from the kit and added a trio to the front of each card. To do this I put down three dots of glue where I wanted my sequins to go and I did give that about five to ten seconds to get tacky and then I placed a sequin onto each with my jewel picker. I continued to add the sequins until each card had some and I let these dry for about 5 minutes and here are some close up looks at the finished cards.
I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together these cute, quick and easy mini slimline tent topper cards using the Spellbinders Spring Delight Card Kit of the Month. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Don't forget to check out all of the clubs from Spellbinders. I have a link in that description box below. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.